right, segment number two for the night. Uh, there was a lot of rumors breaking and and the excitement over Wrestle Kingdom this week. And of course, we'll talk about Wrestle Kingdom here uh, in a little bit. Uh, but uh, uh, you know, the, the the big thing was uh, 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 these new names that might be the new guesses of what might be uh, coming to uh, NXT WWE. Well, let's be honest; it's probably going to be NXT in the long run. And I know you had oh geez, I lost it. Here, uh, uh, Matt, you had in the Slack uh, the big list of names. I know AJ Styles is the big one. Um, WWE.com is now reporting on these rumors. What? So this fire is what? alive and well and consuming multiple blocks in hey, this in this housing project of a wrestling world that we're all enjoying. AJ so got, Styles. They put a story out like, like saying, could they possibly be here? And they got pictures, they got Instagram posts, tweets, all their names, all that stuff. This is www.com. Dot com like, has no idea what's going on. Last bastion of quality online journalism. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I just, can I just like to put this into context? WWE.com had an article of things they'd like to see in 2016, and one of them was Sasha Banks with the Intercontinental Championship. <laughs> I mean, I, and, and, watch your back, Dean. Oh, yeah, watch your back, Dean. Um, but, but I don't think. Wait, what does Triple H have to say when? Okay, I know they keep getting in TMZ all the time. It drives me absolutely insane. Thank you, Dutters, for reminding me every time. Uh, but WWE.com is reporting in TMZ style at this point, and and I, I don't know how I feel about that. Hey, Sorg. Hey, Sorg. Why let all those dirt cheap websites have all the web clicks, man? <laughs> True. Put up an article. Put up some BS article. You're basically just saying what all the other sites are saying. Get those clicks, baby. Nope, nope, man. Matt, you're, giving them, you're, you're giving them too much credit. I'm telling you, the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. And the right hand is WWE and the left hand is .com. They are just fucking around. <laughs> I, to a certain extent, though, I think that there is something. like They, they wouldn't just mention this on their website without something being there. I mean, there has to be something there. Yeah. I don't see why they would have pictures and all this other stuff up on their site and there's no intentions at all to sign them. Right, right. Well, okay. we, we know... Why would, why would you fan those flames? We know... I mean, I web traffic is important, but how right. important is it to WWE? I mean, come on now. I mean, is We're it- talking about the integrity of WWE.com, so that's not just something you just throw away. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I am reasonably certain, and I hope somebody gets this joke. I am reasonably certain that Triple H had brunch with Nakamura at some point down the line. I hope someone laughs at that. <laughs> Silence. Uh, Bobby is shitting his pants right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, okay. So we got Nakamura, uh, AJ Styles, Carl Anderson, and Doc Gall- Gallows, uh, uh, three major members of of the Bullet Club. There, AJ Styles Listen, and Nakamura. I, I, you know, I might be a little, you know, I. I off base with names and stuff, but is it was it Luke Gallows was fucking in WWE before, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was Festus. Same guy. Yeah, fucking Festus. All right. I just, I just straight edge society. I was just curious. Well, yeah, but he's left. He's one of those names that CM Punk uh, <laughs> mentioned when he was ranting at Vince McMahon during their big contract signing uh, angle before Money in the Bank years ago. Right, right, uh, right, right. Those guys. Why'd you fire this guy, Vince? He's awesome. Well, he, he's, yeah. he's essentially piggybacking with Carl Anderson. <laughs> I mean, if you want Carl Anderson, you get Luke Gallows too, because they're tag team partners. Right, because they, they went he out. He had no purpose other than that. He went out. He made a name for himself. <laughs> uh, attached to Bullet Club, Carl Anderson, if you if you want to make that argument. Um, and now he's attractive to NXT. And, and I think I think also you got to think. Okay, they could be signing with WWE, but they could also be just in a Samoa Joe type position. Because just because these names are coming in doesn't mean that they're in line to be on Raw in six months, right? Um, because I think, well, I mean, I, you're not, it's going to take a lot of money to get Nakamura out of Japan sword. Yeah. And AJ um, Styles, maybe a little bit less. So it's going to take a pile of cash to get Nakamura out of Japan. So this is not, this ain't some toe in the water kind of deal. If they're really going to do it, they're bringing them in. They're going all the way. And, and Carl um, Anderson for that matter. Anderson's made it. He's put it on Twitter. He's making like 700,000 over there in Japan. Like, if you want to get him out of Japan, cough up the dough. Yeah. You know, probably pay him at least 700000 <laughs> mean, I mean, I mean they, they, all four of these guys did just wrestle in front of 40,000 people. Um, 
Sunday. Sunday, Monday, was that technically Monday there for them, I guess? Yeah. It was Monday for us, so. Um, it's like technically Monday. Yeah. Okay. Technically Monday, like afternoon for them. Yeah. Monday morning for us. Uh, in raw time, basically. Wow, they had a pa- major pay per view on a Monday. That's incredible. They're always on January fourth. The show was January fourth. Oh, had a working date. Oh wow! Yeah, so right in the middle of a Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> um, you are stubborn like that, sort. Are you alright? Is the Flyers game getting away from you over there, Vaughn? No, I was trying to mute the TV. So. Okay. <laughs> um, no background noise on my part. And apparently, I'm getting I'm getting uh, a message that Mikey uh, uh, from uh, from Kiss is talking about uh, the WWE segment on Sports Center tonight. Uh, who was supposed to be on? Who was scheduled? Uh, Dean Ambrose is on Sports Center as we speak. I need um, to catch up with those. With the SmackDown set behind him. Was, was he part of that HGH documentary they were doing? Uh, I have to ask him, but my sources say no. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, okay. I, that, that seems to be turning out well for them. Um, but I don't know. What do you think? The other, the other conversation about this is, well, okay. Like, like Garza's in the chat room saying that this idea of these guys coming to like NXT absolutely baffles him at this point. Um, and even like, you know, <laughs> too much money to waste on NXT. Those guys are, are, are making 500 K plus in new Japan. Like even, even the tag guys, you think? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, my point exactly when we're talking about Nakamura and styles, these guys are too good, and they're going to cost you too much mm-hmm. to stash them down in in NXT. Now, Anderson and Gallows makes sense, if only from the aspect of how closely aligned they are with Finn Balor from their days back over in New Japan when they're all in Bullet Club together. That could work, especially when you consider the fact that Finn Balor can't be too much longer um, for NXT, although who knows. Or maybe... Triple H kind of slid this one underneath Vince and just kind of snuck these. He's going to sneak these guys in NXT and not tell anybody that how good they are. They're just going to start touring Japan, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I, it, maybe maybe for a lot of these guys, it's like a bucket list thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I even if I even if it's just for like five matches, I wanna I wanna get in on WWE just to just to check it off my list. You know what I mean? Joe seems to be having a good time. We like Joe. Let's go see what's up. Right. Right. Don't forget Matt Bloom is down there, and he was tag team partners with uh, Carl Anderson too in Japan before Luke Gallows was a tag team partner, uh, Big Albert. So well, they got a lot of connections in NXT. And, and, and in general, WWE has been in uh, talks and, and uh, building a relationship with New Japan. Maybe this is only a temporary thing. Maybe they get them for three, six months, and they just roll right back to New Japan for a bit. I mean, it could be something like a one-year deal for, for someone like Nakamura. Yeah, it could be a bucket list thing. I mean, who knows? Mm-hmm. Um, the American guys, it feels like a permanent landing spot. Um, but let's not – I mean, it, it, as exciting as it is for these guys to be coming in, um, you can't help but like – I personally am always filled with dread whenever these big names sign with WWE, just waiting for you know the ceiling to fall in. I mean, granted, things seem to work out okay as long as you're in the – safe, protective NXT bubble um, where you're taken care of. But once you hit that main roster, man, all bets are off. Um, yeah. And only a few guys can really survive that uh, transition. And I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're Bo Dallas or Adam Rose or if you're Shinsuke Nakamura. That jump to that main roster and dealing with the crap that goes on up there, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And, and, and I don't think they're going to do it, do anything intentionally stupid. I just think they can't help it. It's just the way the machine's built. Um, it, it, not, it doesn't necessarily, you know, it, it, it's a corporate culture up there. It, it's, it's not your talent or anything like that, or even that you're a bad person uh, to, 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 to not make it up there, I think. I think it's very explicit because uh, in, in Triple H's talks, I think, I think one I was listening to with uh, uh, Justin Labar was talking about how uh, on the last conference call and everything, Triple H is very much in control of NXT and is kind of the final word there. Uh, but still, uh, breaking ground this week, he said, it's up to Vince as far as you guys getting called up. And if you wonder why somebody has been there for way, way too long, it's because Vince isn't impressed yet, right? And, and, and that, he's still the gatekeeper when it comes to any of those guys. So I, I think that speaks a lot right there. So... Uh, Triple H can only influence so much on that level, I think, still, in his position. So, 
All right. I, I, we'll see what's going on here, and we'll see how much we get uh, 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 Garza's brain to ache as we uh, 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 see about this. Uh, Trigar, if the next topic isn't about Taryn Terrell leaving TNA, then I'm done with the show for the year. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> That what a coincidence, Sorg. This week's big question. Uh, <laughs> He's very important to him, apparently. <laughs> there you Her go. Her acting in Daddy's Home was spot on, Sorg. <laughs> that cameo, I tell you what. Thank God I knew she was in the movie. Or I wouldn't have even known she was in the movie. <laughs> I didn't know she was in the movie. Good I had job no to idea. About promoting that. Was it, yeah. was, was it better than Santa's Helper? It was shorter. <laughs> All the cameo right. was much shorter. All right. Well, you know, while you're still cleaning up on your uh, young bucks and uh, and uh, uh, bullet club shirts, oh no, bullet club shirts. Never mind about that. Skip that part. What and we got the score. We got the we got the score in the uh, Impact tournament coming up. Uh, uh, thank you, ESPN, covering all the wrestling. Apparently, uh, <laughs> was it was that ESPN uh, bottom line score update for the TNA World Title Tournament, Vaughn? Uh, hell and no. <laughs> I don't think ESPN even knows what TNA is. Uh, but anyways, uh, why are you out there supporting some, even these Japanese guys uh, um, over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Make sure you go check out uh, our shop over there. Support this show, Pro, ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS. You can get started, throw a couple things in the cart. Uh, some great designs by the great Alex cars out there in California. Uh, they're, like, they're, like, they're like the iPhone. They're made in California. And uh, you can pick those up, the Good Times at Wrestling Mayhem show. A shirt uh, in the style of Fast Times, and uh, of course, Property of Mayhem, and uh, it, it supports the show a little bit. You get to wear wear the threads and toss in that your Broken Skull Ranch and your uh, Young Buck shirts and and other uh, people in the show. Uh, hey, even uh, Zima Ion, TNA Zima Ion, also Pittsburgh's <laughs> Pittsburgh area Zima Ion. I think it's a good time to mention you. You just recently had a conversation with Zima uh, over on KDKA.com, right? Right, Matt. Yeah, I go to kdk.com and I uh, got to catch up with uh, DJZ ahead of his, uh, what's that? DJZ. <laughs> and um, talked about uh, kind of what his, uh, what his plans are for 2016. It's pretty interesting, a uh, couple interesting little tidbits about kind of where he th- sees things going and where he could end up not being by the end of the year. And uh, he also talks about a really interesting uh, side project. So, you know, he's really into the music. Mm-hmm. And uh, he is doing something um, music producing wise, putting his music producing talents t- to good use with old wrestling themes and rappers and hip hop artists around the Pittsburgh area or wherever else his travels take him. This could be really good. So it's going to be interesting to see where that comes from. Anyway, go to kdk.com. You can read about DJ Z find out what he's been up to yep and go and if you want more uh we talked to him uh early last year on indie mayhem show our most recent uh catch up with him we've had him on a couple of times here i think that was about his third or fourth time uh across all the shows uh with i think us. he was our second interview ever he might have been i'm sorry actually i listened to the second interview we had with him and i'm sorry we were horrible in 2009 uh and well, that's good. he was our second interview ever yeah 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 who was our first like probably jimmy demarco or something uh jason gory jason gory oh, oh i'm yeah. sorry jason gory I, we had a decent one last time when we had him on with raver so i, I feel like we we definitely it, it's all about it's all about uh 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 re uh uh, uh, you know, ma- making good on all those people we screwed up with, except for Jimmy Snuka. We're not gonna have Jimmy Snuka back, unfortunately. Um, Why not? Oh boy, uh, I'd like to. Can we, we have him back? We could have him tell all. I got a lot to say at this point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, he's got the feeding tooth out of his mouth now, right? I mean, that would have been a little awkward. <laughs> but on that note, uh, we'll be right back with a big question. We're definitely going to do a deep dive into Wrestle Kingdom. Some people were excited and maybe still trying to sleep it off. Uh, here on this Tuesday night. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> 